All right, so let's get straight to the point. The devs have definitely been optimizing Warzone Mobile as performance is drastically better than when I last tested. Yes, in this video, I will be primarily focusing on the iPhone 14 Pro Max and the Galaxy S23 Ultra here. However, I did have to retest both my iPhone 15 Pro Max, the S24 Ultra, and the ROG 8 Pro off camera since the update improved the performance results of all three of these devices. For reference, I initially averaged around 75 frames per second at high settings and uncapped FPS for the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Now, I am averaging 87 frames per second at high graphics. As for the ROG 8 Pro, it's an even bigger difference. Initially, I averaged 81 frames per second, but now I am averaging just about 97 frames per second with high graphics. Both of these devices are performing exceptionally well. Now moving back to the iPhone 14 Pro Max and the Galaxy S23 Ultra, here I will test both of these devices at high settings, as peak graphics is only available on the 15 Pro Max or the iPad Pro. And as you all know by now, high graphics is both equally capped at 992p resolution amongst both of these devices. Last but not least, I set brightness about the same and will conduct this FPS test on Wi-Fi. Now with that being said, Let's get to testing.
inbound. Safe zone relocated. So starting with temperature, the iPhone 14 Pro Max is getting insanely hot. The iPhone is peaking up to 48 Celsius with the A16 Bionic, while the S23 Ultra is only peaking up to 43 Celsius with the Snapdragon HN2. Without a shadow of doubt, 
The S23 Ultra is the clear winner here in the thermal category. Now, moving on to performance, the tables have turned. The iPhone 14 Pro Max is averaging 83.3 frames per second, while the S23 Ultra is averaging 79.7 frames per second. Interesting enough, both devices 1% FPS lows is also 32 frames per second. In my opinion, performance is pretty stable between both of these phones. Now, if we move on to the Warzone mobile device FPS chart, it is shocking that the S23 Ultra is actually surpassing the S24 Ultra in this Warzone test. Samsung really needs to fix their Galaxy Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 or just the S24 Ultra. Now, before you start blaming the devs, if you watch my Genshin Impact test, the S24 Ultra is also underperforming when compared to the S23 Ultra. On another note, the iPhone 14 Pro Max is actually performing very closely to the 15 Pro Max. Therefore, you can't go wrong with either iPhone. I'm definitely now interested to test the 13 Pro Max just to see how close the performance may be to the 14 and the 15 Pro Max. In conclusion, both phones did exceptionally well. The S23 Ultra was significantly superior in thermals, while the 14 Pro Max excelled in FPS performance. However, because of such high thermals on the iPhone 14 Pro Max, I definitely choose the S23 Ultra over the 14 for this particular game. For those interested in the 14 Pro Max, I'd highly advise investing in a phone cooler until the devs is able to fix their thermal issues in this game. With that being said, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more upcoming FPS performance tests.